After the initial release of Peter Rabbit 2, the film seems to imply that Peter Rabbit 3 or 4 could be a possibility. However, at the movie's end, Corden's Peter Rabbit character breaks the fourth wall to hint at potential follow-ups. As his sister, Margot Robbie, draws to a close with her narration of the events of the movie, the movie reveals to us that the story has been written up and sold by Bay, Rose Byron, as Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaway, which is a reference to the actual title of the movie. Robbie's character, Bay, is played by Rose Byron. I like it, implies there might be more, Corden's Peter says before directly looking down the camera to the audience watching. Or this might be it, we didn't think we'd get this far. Is anyone hungry? Yes, yeah, starving. I'm on it. Despite the somehow mixed reviews that the film received, many of which pointed out how far it had strayed from the magnetic source material from which the characters were adapted, the narrative has dialed up the amount of cute and meta elements to appeal to children's and family audiences strongly. Many do notice that the movie has not yet broken any records at the box office. However, the series' first installment has built up a decent income throughout its run. With that said, it's not entirely out of the question that they may give the next sequel a big thumbs up in the future. With that said, let's look at what we have so far considering the potential production of the third installment in this bunny-tastic film series. With that terrible pun said, how about hopping over to the like and subscribe button? That will ensure that you get more videos such as this one. Anyways, let's hop back on track. Now, how much have we got concerning the film's development? The answer, the production has not officially confirmed Peter Rabbit 3, which is a disappointing development. If they were to reveal it, the production schedule might be similar to that of its predecessor, Peter Rabbit 2. The sequel was officially announced in May 2018, almost two months after the first film's premiere, with its supposed release in February 2020 which they delayed due to the coronavirus pandemic. If we can expect the same time skills for a third movie without another pandemic delay, fans might hear maybe as soon as August 2021 about whether or not the company will make Peter Rabbit 3 and they could peg out the release date in the middle of 2023. That one, that's the one, you've nailed it. What? It's our favorite too, really speaks to his character. No, it doesn't. Next up, will most of the cast be returning? Well, you can reasonably expect that the star, James Corden, who provides the voice of Peter in the animated series, will reprise his role as Peter, joining live-action stars Domhnall Gleeson and Rose Byrne in the parts of Tom and Rose McGregor. James Corden, who provides the voice of the eponymous character Peter, told Entertainment Weekly that he considers it a fantastic honor to play such a character. Due to the high regard and admiration of Will Gluck, I would gladly collaborate with him on whatever project he might do in the future. Therefore, I would comply with any request made of me. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, it's like drinking sand. It appears that every member of the cast is on board as well. Everyone expressed excitement about the possibility when asked if they would be interested in returning. Others echo the same sentiment, such as Elizabeth DeBecky, Mopsy Rabbit, Rose Byron B, and Dom Hong Gleason Thomas, who all offer praise for Gluck and one another. DeBecky says, If you asked me right now, I would do it instantly. If I were you, I'd get it done tomorrow. I genuinely enjoy working on these movies. Will, our director, is largely responsible for this. He makes it an adorable thing to work on and allows a lot of creative leeways. He's incredibly humorous and goofy at the same time, but in addition to that, he has a profound comprehension of the underlying spirit of things. Both Barn and Gleason are willing to try anything that would put them back in the orbit of the other. They're enjoyable movies to make, and I love working with Domal. Says Barn, while Gleason adds, I love working with Rose too. Byron says the movies are entertaining to make, and Gleason says, I enjoy working with Domhnall too. Any opportunity to collaborate with Rose, I will utterly welcome with open arms. This fact, however, is not a guarantee. At the same time, Daisy Ridley provided the voice of Cottontail in the first film, Amy Horn took over for her in Peter Rabbit 2. And there's certainly the possibility that additional voice actresses will move on and others will replace them in the future. Now, what could the next movie potentially give us? Well, in the second movie, the plot of Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway centers on Peter. First, he becomes saddened by his reputation as a mischievous rabbit that is developed in the thoughts of other bunnies and Bay's writings. So he embarks on a journey to shake off his vision and, along the way, encounters Barnabas, an elderly rabbit who is a friend of his father's. Finally, Peter, along with his buddies, joins Barnabas and his gang in a robbery, an experience that teaches Peter to pay closer attention to the advice of his loved ones. So with that said, maybe the next film will expand a bit more from that theme.
While Gluck has been hush-hush on specifics of the third film in the Peter Rabbit franchise, for the time being, he has hinted that it would be even more expensive than the second film in the series, and that it will continue to fill up with humor that makes fun of itself. Although Beatrix Potter, who created Peter Rabbit and his companions, published 23 books about the characters, the movies don't stick to the original story. Instead, they update the surroundings and the characters' actions, which they've taken from the literature. If they were to be the third film, Peter would most likely get into further mischief in a contemporary environment. Will Gluck, the film's director, was recently asked about his career by Stefan Pape of Hey You Guys, and he said, Peter Rabbit 3, I'm getting very close to completing the writing. The concept is similar to Bananas. It's really challenging to create a sequel, and I believe it'll be even more challenging to create a third installment. But I believe that we have the advantage due to the meta nature of ours. The beginning of the third movie features a scenario that is really bonkers. Gluck also contrasted the portrayal of Peter Rabbit in his two films to his ideas for a third movie and discussed the similarities and differences between the two. He said that Peter is a teenager with flaws in each installment. And in addition, he stated that he plans to make the third film, if there is a third movie, he'll have even more flaws than before. Because as we all know, as we get older, our flaws become more and more ingrained in our personalities. We don't travel in the opposite direction. It may indicate that Peter and his buddies are going on another exciting journey with their family, one that will take them on vacation for the first time away from the setting they are most accustomed to spending their time. As Peter becomes more acquainted with the broader world, he'll encounter new difficulties due to his natural inclination for inquiry. However, you may expect that the key themes will remain the same as in the first two movies, self-identity, home, and family. What else might potentially be in store for us in the potential third installment of the series? The sequel moved the action from Peter's hometown to Gloucester and featured over-the-top action sequences such as Peter skiing down a snowy mountain and jumping out of an airplane. In addition, Gluck gives the impression that it might be somewhat of a musically inclined variety. He cryptically responded when asked whether he would like to see any of his feature films turned into stage musicals. He said, All I'll tell you is that if there is a Peter Rabbit 3, ask me that question afterward. In conclusion, even though the production team has provided very little information, followers of the ongoing franchise can only pray and hope that the film will one day be released. However, until then, we still have the two movies that came before it. So why not watch those movies before the new one comes out? Now how about burrowing your way to some of our other videos to see if you like them too? We know you will.